Hi, uh, this is just a quick overview of how to customize the Prezi Auto Player application. This is version 1.6. Uh, it has quite a few new customization options. Um, and this is for Mac offline, uh, but you could follow the same process for PC offline. And there is an option to upload all of this uh, for a, a, a server version on a website or a blog or an intranet. So all three demos are downloadable from the website. But as I say, this is just an offline Mac version. So what I've done is I've um, just created a simple folder. And I've downloaded loaded, uh, a Prezi I created online. If you use the desktop version, you would need to publish it to an exportable Prezi to, uh, to use this. So if I just uh, dip inside the um, expanded zip file, you'll see you've got um, the, 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 the basic three things, the data folder, the um, Prezi.app, which uh, is obviously for playing on a Mac, and the Prezi.exe, which is for playing on a PC. So um, if I just open this. So the standard Prezi, you, you can kind of click this button here in a second, and you can select Auto Play, and it gives you 4, 10, and 20 seconds, uh, and it will loop. Um, but in certain occasions, that probably isn't uh, flexible enough because if you're running this in autoplay, you may want to um, create a longer pause at a certain, a certain path point to play a video or to show more information. Uh, and the whole thing will not start automatically. Um, you have to kind of go and initialize it. And this is the same if you're online. Uh, you have to press a button um, for it to, to, to kind of start playing. So uh, we created an application, so I'll close that down. Just go back and just expand the auto player application. So if you look inside this, you'll this find, find three items. I'll just copy those and just put them inside the expanded Prezi folder. So the PDF is just some sort of explanation of how to use it. The two things that are important are the Prezi Auto Player app. Player app. So you don't use this Prezi. You use Prezi Auto Player. And the slide dynamic XML file, uh, I'll show you how to use that in a moment. That configures all the customization and how long uh, Prezi you know, pauses at each path point. So um, just to start this now, see what it looks like. So the first thing is, uh, you can customize all of this. I'll explain in a moment. You can set the the pause before the the the, app, the Prezi application starts. So not so relevant offline because it starts pretty much straight away. But for online, it does tend to hang while it's loading, loading, which can be a little off-putting. Um, but as you as you kind of sit here and wait, and again, this I'll show you how to adjust in a moment. Um, will automatically obviously transition through. And if you've got audio, it will play audio and it will sync it. But I'll, uh, I'll cover that in a different um, different overview. So let me just close that for a second. So it took a bit of time for it to start. And um, obviously, the, the preloader needs to be changed. So the way we go and do that is we need to adjust this, this XML file. And the way we can way we have to do it, if you go to the website, not there. Uh, let me go here and go to the site. You'll find this on our website, but basically this is how you configure the application. So the first thing you need to do is either create a new uh, XML file, which you can do by just adjusting all of these things and selecting download, or if you have one that you've already configured and you want to adjust it, you can just upload it. So um, let me just upload this. Okay. Um, so the first thing, we can obviously change the preloader color background. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go and change it to red. Um, you can change the message while it's loading. Uh, let's go and just say um, Mac demo. Um, you can change the countdown color timer. Um, so let's go and change that to white. Uh, let's leave it away, I should say. And let's change the preloader text to uh, I don't know, black. I think that's going to look very clever. Um, how many countdown seconds? So you can adjust how long it counts down for. So I'll count it down for just five. And there's a play and pause visibility button. So I'll put that on to yes so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is just adjust the first path point to eight seconds, and the second to four seconds, and the third to three seconds. Once we've done all that, we can just download it. 
There it is. So I shall find out. So I just need to uh, get rid of this for a second. Where is that? So I just need, need to take this new XML file and just copy it here, overwrite it. There we have it. So that's all you need to do to change it. Uh, get rid of that. Now if I start the auto player application again, you'll see it's obviously red. It's only downloading for a few seconds and the message is different. And there's now a pause button and you should find it will move more quickly and transition more quickly. Um, and what you can now do is at any point, I can pause it. So this allows you, if you're giving an auto player application demonstration, you can obviously pause it and it will then no longer carry on playing automatically. And if you then want to reinitialize it, you can just hit uh, the button again. And basically it will then play and transition at the point where it left off. There you go. So that's how you configure it. Uh, that's for um, a Mac. But as I say, you'd follow the same process, obviously using the Prezi.exe version for an offline Prezi auto player in uh, a PC. And the whole thing can be uploaded to a uh, website, blog, intranet, if you want the whole thing to work on a website or something similar. So that's it. Thanks very much.